All right, today I've got an amazing lesson from the Babe Ruth of Tennis Con. We're up to Tennis Con number six, Jorge Capistani, master teaching pro. And I call him the Babe Ruth of Tennis Con because he always knocks out of the park. He always gives one of the best presentations of the event. Make sure you're gonna get your free ticket before you leave today's video by going up in the iCard section or in the description box, click on the link sign up because not only will you be seeing the best instructors on the planet helping you play a bigger and better brand of tennis, you're also going to enter a raffle to win a free slinger bag and a total tennis makeover from Tennis Express. You don't want to miss out on that stuff. So again, remember, go up here in the card section, the description box, enjoy today's lesson from Jorge, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Hi guys, Coach Jorge Capistani. Today I have an answer for one of the questions that came to our website about metal toughness. What's the number one tip? So obviously I have a lot of ideas on metal toughness. It's an area most players don't train in, frankly. But I'm going to show you and tell you this probably the number one most helpful thing that I ever heard as a younger player and when I competed a lot, it helped me the most. And also, it's also been helping my students the most. And it's just a concept. So I'm not going to hit a lot of balls here. I just want you to think about this and maybe see if you can apply it to your own game. So here's the deal. Us tennis players are passionate. And when we make errors, we tend to judge those. When, when I make a, a backhand down the line and it's wide, I will judge that as bad. Okay? But my opponent, the same exact shot, my backhand that went a foot wide, I say it's bad. What does my opponent say? He thinks it's great. So obviously it can't be both. It's really all has to do with perspective. So the idea that I want you to grasp onto here and maybe try is when you play, especially when you make play errors, but even on your best shots, you have to be more dispassionate. You have to detach yourself from the results and just treat it like you're the chair umpire. So let's go back to that example. I hit a backhand wide. I think it's bad. My opponent thinks it's good. The chair umpire, he doesn't think either. He just thinks it's, it's a wide backhand. So the one thing I would really ask you to try is to make sure the next time you do errors, before your mind starts yelling at your body and getting all upset, that you just kind of treat it as data. Nothing more than data. But it's important that we harvest that data. So if I hit a backhand wide, rather than judge, oh my gosh, I screwed up again, I'm so slow, I can't believe it, my backhand's a joke. None of that kind of talk. Just know that I hit the backhand wide and that means I had to be a little bit back behind it. So I'm going to take that data, actually use it. I'm not going to go into complaining mode. I'm going to go into, you know, thinking mode. And I'm going to say, okay, next time, very dispassionately, I have to be more in front. And if I hit it more in front, and this time I get way in front, and I hit it cross court the other way too far, then I'll just use that data. So there's tons of data points. Every single result and shot in tennis is a data point. There's something there. Us tennis players have to do a lot better job of just kind of letting go of the good or bad. It's neither, really, okay? No one's dying because of a tennis match or especially a missed shot. And just kind of treat it as data, use the data, but not judge it. If you can get good at that, I can guarantee you're going to play with a lot more peace and you're going to probably have a lot better results. So that's my tip for you and the number one tip I try to teach my players when it comes to mental toughness. So again, this is Coach Jorge Capistani. If you like this tip, I'd love to hear your comments. If you're watching it somewhere where you can leave a comment, please do so. If you have a question, leave it below and I will promise you I answer all the questions. And if you think this drill would be helpful to you or a doubles partner, either tag somebody or please share it and help us get the word out. Thanks again and good luck on the court. I hope you'll give this a try. Okay, go subscribe to their channel. Remember to like this video. When you like this video, my buddy B2, he's going to give you a free 100 B2 puppy kisses. Also, don't forget, go get it B2. Don't forget to get your free ticket to Tennis Con number six because when you do, you're entered into a raffle to win a free slinger bag as well as a total tennis makeover from Tennis Express. So you don't want to miss out on that awesome opportunity. Go up in your card section right now, that little I card circle in the corner of the video or in the description box to click on the link, get your free ticket. That will allow you to see all the amazing instructors, free 48 hours access to each and every day. And it's an incredible event coming up here in October. You're going to love it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our next video and like it up. Remember when you like this video, B2 is going to give you a free 100 B2 puppy kisses when you like the video. When you subscribe, it's unlimited. So you might as well subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video.